So price point, tell me your price point. Higher end. So higher end, high, being? Um, high to probably 290, 300. 300. And what's the thinking behind selling at a price point of 290, 300? So you can just catch either first time buyers who've got a very good deposit yeah. um, or people who are moving up from the flat. Okay, so again, you're trying to widen out. And first time buyers with a very good deposit are likely, but not entirely, to have had that deposit from grandparents coming down, bypassing parents and hitting grandchildren. That's often the way now. Talk to your estate agent, see if that pattern is happening in your area, or second buyers moving up. And if, if it's two people and say they earn like 30 grand each, that's 90 grand, sorry, that's 60 grand, four times, they can, you know, they're, they're just making it, aren't they? Um, with the four times mortgage. What other price points have we got going on here? Your bungalow. 230, 2 so similar kind of price points, but you're expecting that they may need funding with cash. Yeah. Okay, any other price points apart from David's 18 grand? <laughs> So we range, we, we really don't want to go above a 450 price point. The one that we're going to go and see today is probably one, is, I think it will be our highest buy to sell ever, you know. And because we mainly stay in the kind of BHS to Marks and Spencer um, price range, because that's where the majority of people are. And I want to de-risk the product as much as possible. Uh, later on, we'll probably go to multi-million pound houses, but only when our pockets are deep enough that we can manage that kind of thing if it doesn't work out.